somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. back. That's Diamond Dave Damone. This is the Appleton Oak. That's the answer. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we have a special treat for you. Not only are we taking a look at 2016's arrival with Jeremy Renner and Amy Adams, we also have some great friends of the channel back joining us. Mr. and Mrs. Flicks, thank you for coming along for the ride. Hello, guys. How's well, it going? Hello there. <laughs> How's it going? Happy to be here. Man, I don't know anything about this movie. I'm going to be real with you. Uh, I know Amy Adams is in it, and our guys just told us that Jeremy Renner is in it. Yeah, which I didn't know that. Which I'm a big fan. Um, by the way, hope he gets better. Um, but guys, thank you for having us on here. Thank this, you. Of course, it's, a, it's an absolute honor. Oh, thanks for, thanks for joining us in this journey. Yep. Absolutely. The pleasure now, is all ours. Now, uh, like you were saying, it's got Jeremy Renner in it, Amy Adams. Other than that, I don't know anything about this movie other than what the Amazon uh, description had. So I'm looking forward to a real treat because from what I can tell, Jeremy Renner always delivers. And it has one of your uh, favorite directors uh, who just directed Dune. That's uh, right. So, you know, Dennis. I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see what the arrival is all about. Uh, you know, I saw, I think, part of this movie, and I got to be honest, like, it didn't it didn't grab me, and so uh, I kind of bailed on it. However, that being said, there have been a handful of movies that we've watched on this channel that have been second chance movies for me. Most notably for me was Interstellar, where first time around in the theater, I was in and out of uh, consciousness. consciousness. Don't know yeah. how. From sleep deprivation, <laughs> not from anything else. Um, so didn't love it in the theater. Watched it here for the channel. I was like, oh my God, I'm so happy I gave it a second watch. So I'm, I'm really hoping, now that I'm committed to this full film, that I can get into it a little more. <clears throat> I have no idea what to, to expect. Haven't seen it. Uh, just like everyone here said already, Amy Adams, Jeremy Renner. And all of you actually have been just clamoring for it, so I guess I'm coming in with a slight expectation uh, that this should be good, considering well, so many people ask for it. They're so. only batting like 950 out of a thousand, so I mean they they probably have a good one for yeah. it. 985. <laughs> I was gonna say Twilight is really good. Hey, hey, easy. Oh, God hey. dang it! Of course he's shirtless. All right. Well, that being said, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> I used to think this was the beginning of your story. Memory is a strange thing. We are so bound by time, by its order. It's a lovely view. Oh, they're gripping us already with kid. I know, cute little baby fingers. I hope that baby is sleeping. Oh, don't put that doubt in oh, my head, there's Ryan. No. <laughs> no, yeah, it that's, is. That's right. just, it's, I mean, it's not as go. good as okay, the baby okay, from Twilight. Good. but oh, yeah. Not... It, it looks way more oh, like CGI, baby. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to talk about Twilight CGI, baby. Tick him up. <laughs> my tickle guns. <laughs> I'm gonna oh, I thought she was going to bring out the claw. <laughs> How fun is it to be a kid? Everything is new and awesome. <laughs> you know, I know right? now I have to have a Lamborghini or something to like be like, wow. <laughs> Just be like stepbrothers and get night vision goggles. <laughs> Better yet, we got them when we're 40. <laughs> I love you. I hate you. Oh, no, oh, no, no. The lymph nodes. N what? Oh, God. And this was the end. What's going on? Oh, oh whoa, man. Oh, yep. my God. So you're telling me I was kind of on the note with something. Just not as a baby. I hadn't. I didn't expect that mm. at all. But now I'm not so sure I believe in beginnings and endings. There are days that define your story beyond your life. Like the day they arrived. That was brutal. <clears throat> like the day they arrived. Wow, they're, they're getting yeah. right into it, huh? You know, it's interesting, though. She had a wedding ring on, but we didn't see her husband at the hospital. Very good point. Where is everyone? Today we are talking about Portuguese. Uh, the story of Portuguese begins in the kingdom of Galicia, where language was seen as an expression of art. Any news you want to share? Turn the TV to a news channel. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. The chills right now. As you can see, we've gotten just about as close as we can. Montana right now is on complete lockdown. I'm learning that more objects like this have landed in as many as eight oh. other locations oh, around boy. the world. Oh, see how they tease oh. it? That would be absolutely terrifying. Uh -huh. I like how we don't see the jets, we just hear them. Yeah. They're keeping it all from us. 
Okay, there's the two. Yeah. There go the fighter jets, yeah. So you're saying it's not ours? Do you even know if it's from Earth? We're still collecting information. We're coordinating with other countries. We're not the only ones to have one of these in our backyard. I need the house. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? She must be tenured. No, Mom. I'm watching the same news coverage you are. How many times do I have to tell you those people are idiots? <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of left that ominous. Yeah. Like, come to your own conclusion. Yeah. Um, me? Yeah, uh, you know me. I'm about the same. Mom, I'm fine. Okay, I'll call you later. Okay, so if mom's calling to say fine, then the daughter must have gone not too far. Yeah. Oh, no. No. Yeah. Now, now the objects uh, measure at least fifteen hundred feet tall. Suspended above the ocean. So far, there are twelve unidentified wow. objects spread across the globe. Who entertain the idea <sighs> that if it is Greenland? a kind of vessel, regardless, we have weird, a protocol weird. for scenarios like this. A t pattern. She definitely seems like she's secluded from like the rest of the city or whatever they were at. Yeah, it's incredibly quiet. No, something quiet. goes down. She by herself. Yeah, there's no <laughs> lights outside, no noise. It kind of showed it, sh shined a light on it. So yeah, look, you there can't, it is. You can't quite bit. see it. That looks. Like I love her commitment. Like she went day. back to school. Say it again. I love her commitment. Like she went back to school. Like anybody was going to show up. Borders are closed and flights have been grounded, stranding millions of travelers. Panic buying of gas, water, and food continues to escalate, oh, and federal authorities have temporarily happen, lifted we? all yeah. caps on yep. overtime for law enforcement, forcing many independent suppliers of hunting equipment and firearms to yeah, close their doors to the public. Us. Yeah, there he is. Oh, I didn't know he was out here. I'm Colonel G.T. Weber. Two years ago, you did some Farsi translations for Army Intelligence. You made quick work of those uh, insurgent videos. You make quick work of those insurgents. And you have another two years in the SSBI. So you still have top secret clearance. That's why I'm in your office, I'm not at Berkeley. I have something I need you to translate for me. Can you, can you understand us? That's that cool. That can't be good, though. Now you heard it. <laughs> what do you make of it? A lion? I don't know. Oh, he's a lion. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, how many um, speaking? Two. Now, so how would you approach translating this? <laughs> what? Well, she's she's got questions. That's why she's asking them. I can tell you that it's impossible to translate from an audio file. You didn't need that with the Farsi translation. I didn't need it because I already knew the language. If I leave here, your chance to go. Kick rocks, dude. Yeah, yeah. See ya. <laughs> like you just gave her an audio file of some growling. Oh, tell me what they said. They said beat it. You mentioned Berkeley. Are you going to ask Danvers next? Ask him the Sanskrit word for war and its translation. Oh. You need to stop. Morning. Let's... Colonel? He says it means an argument. What do you say it means? A desire for more cows. <laughs> You're the winner. <laughs> Imagine this being like your job. Hey, there there he is. is. That's dope. That's what it would be. Like That's... your job is this important to national security and the fate of the world. <laughs> <laughs> I love this, Sorry, the sound treatment. Language is the foundation of civilization. It is the glue that holds the people together. Luis, <laughs> this is uh, Ian Donnelly. It's quite a greeting. Yeah, well, he wrote it. Ian. His name is Hawkeye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we know that. Ian is a theoretical physicist for most animals. You're working with him when you're in the shell. That's what they call him, the UFO. Priority one. What do they want? Yeah. Where are they from? List of questions. Yeah. yeah. Go over it. How about we just talk to them before we start throwing math problems at them? <laughs> I like the different right? dynamics. Uh, uh, yeah. This is why you're both oh, here. Yeah. There you go. Ooh, are they finally going to show us? There oh, it is. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yo. That's a whole egg. Well, they just got the jets taking hot laps around this yeah, thing? Yeah, I don't know what else to do with it. That's Tom Cruise. We need Maverick. I'm digging the soundtrack. It definitely makes it like a, a creepy vibe. Yeah, that Fair eeriness. Yeah. yeah. I want you to take these two to Dr. Chetman. <laughs> yes, sir. Put these on, you're gonna wear them at all times. You wonder if the military has any sort of procedural stuff should something like this oh, I'm, ever I'm happen. I'm sure they do. It's why we got the Space Force. Oh my God. Thanks, Quinn. 
Since the last time you did something stressful. Does it now count? Oh, yeah, I was gonna say it probably right now. <laughs> Either of you claustrophobic? Hmm? Yeah. Pregnant? No. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I got the vibe that, you know, they, she looked at Jeremy and then said, no, you know, I kind of got like a connection vibe there because mm -hmm. we don't see a husband. That's what There's no way. Is that the dad? No. No, I don't think so. I don't I think they just the, met. No, the, they just first met. From the interaction on the yeah. helicopter, I wouldn't think so. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. They didn't seem to circulate inside the chamber, yeah. so after about two hours, we run out of oxygen. This is Dr. Ian Donnelly. He'll be running his team here. This is Dr. Louise Banks. She'll be heading your team. Hi. Dr. Banks. You scooby that before? <laughs> it's going to be like that. I can't do that. Basically, same. Scooby So what do they look like? You'll see soon enough. Hurry up. Oh, wow. Look at that. <clears throat> Make sure you hold on to something. How do they plan on getting into is that floating? thing? Floating? Oh, she's probably having trouble breathing too, because you got to work extra hard, like when you're scuba diving or whatever. With well, your those suits are restricted. Okay, and anxiety and let's everything. Not, you know? Let's not let's <laughs> not write off extreme anxiety right now. There's that. Door opens up at the bottom. That's where we go in. Nope. Uh uh. Not me. Not going in. Not me, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, I am out. I'm out. <laughs> uh uh. What if the ship just left? I'd be terrified. Oh, for sure. Yeah, terrified is not, I mean, it doesn't even begin to. <laughs> okay, he's not even going to touch it there, huh? Uh-uh. Nope. Ah. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I, I don't know about chamber. this, man. Nope. Oh, no. Oh. So it stays up. Yeah, they're able to throw that? it up and it, like, that landed. Is. It's it, the gravity. Oh, there goes the gravity. Started. There they go. Oh, no. That'd be so dope. Oh, uh, oh yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Wait, see, this is <laughs> this is reflective of what's happening in there. Quinn's, oh, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> First time? Yep. God, this soundtrack's intense. Who did the score for this? Literally. This is crazy. What happens now? They arrive. Wow, it's talking already. Um, no thank you. Oh, 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 this is getting good. Oh, that's creepy. So who gonna run away first? Oh, those <laughs> bastards. <laughs> we both have till 0 200 hours to figure something out. Okay, what happens then? You go back? You go back in. I was just gonna say yep. that's... Oh my god. The president has declared a mandatory dust to dawn curfew after the crackdown by the National Guard failed to prevent a third night of looting across the country. Dang, a whole riot. Yeah, we've been playing back some of their sounds. Well, they play audio back at us from an unseen source, uh, random clips of dialogue. We have nothing. God. Nobody across the globe has anything. No. If they were going to attack, they probably would have done it already. Yeah. This is what you're hoping. You don't know what's going on, man. <laughs> They're just waiting for the right moment. <laughs> I'm human. What are you? God, that just be intense. Oh, they're leaving. He said, we don't want nothing to do with y'all. It's, it's, it, I bet oh, it's going to spell something. That is crazy. Maybe. Oh, wait. That's incredible. What is it? Human. Please <laughs> don't. She's laughing there, Brian, like, y'all done messed up yeah. now. Right? Is this really the right approach? It's working. Speak and read? That's got to take longer. You're wrong. It's faster. Yeah. Yeah, she's on the translate there, bucko. So you're going to have to give me one net. Kangaroo. In 1770, 
Captain James Cook's ship ran aground off the coast of Australia and he led a party into the country and they met the Aboriginal people. One of the sailors pointed at the animals that hop around and put their babies in their pouch and he asked what they were and the Aborigines said kangaroo. It wasn't until later that they learned that kangaroo means I don't understand. I need this so that we don't misinterpret things in there, otherwise this is going to take ten times as long. I can show that for now. Drop a comment. <laughs> is that what kangaroo really meant? It's a good story. It's not true. So oh, hey, see. there, she just said. Mm. It's not true. Yep, okay. She just said it's not true. Don't leave a comment below. Yeah. <laughs> we already saw that it's not true. <laughs> we take the comment part back. <laughs> she yeah. said it's not true. But it proves her point. Yep. That's why she wanted it. Not everyone shares our policy of being open with the aliens. Have you met General Shang? If Shang does, at least four other nations will follow. You have a vocabulary in this form? I do. You're going to teach them your name and Eads. Yes, so that we can learn their names, if they have names, and then introduce pronouns later. Help me understand. Okay, this is where you want to get to, right? That is the question. Okay. We need to make sure that they understand what a question is. Request for information along with the response. The difference between a specific you and a collective you. We don't want to know why Joe Alien is here. We want to know why they all landed. Or is their motivation so instinctive that they don't understand a why question at all? We need to have enough vocabulary with them that we understand their answer. Makes sense. Bingo. Louise. These. Louise, I am. These boards were used for memes all over the place. Oh, that's what it's from? <laughs> like her oh. holding up the board with just <laughs> random stuff written on it. I don't know. I think it's a symbol for human again. It just has a little curl on the end. I just realized she was Lois Lane. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Still. You are correct, sir. Wow. And her name is Louise. <laughs> hey. Close enough. Yeah, to Lois. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey. No. Hey. You don't take, don't take the, the mask, mask off, too? They need to see me. They need to see me. Should we abort? That decision was super bold. Right. Super bold. Well, if she's trying to save the earth, extreme situations require extreme measures, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, here they are. Touch it. See what happens. Touch it. So they do look like octopuses. It almost kind of look like a hand too. Yeah. It does. It looks like a hand. I'm get, <laughs> getting ready for the old <laughs> jump scare. <gasps> oh, oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. Now that's a proper introduction. You're like, okay, you cool. I like you. Right. Ian, you want to introduce yourself? They also look like the Witcher sign. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Everybody dies, right? <laughs> Good logic. Yeah. Ian. Louise. Who are you? Oh, that's their names. So what are we gonna call? Them? Maybe they're twins. Thing We're one and thing two. Abbott and Costello. <laughs> And now... I wonder what that last shot meant. Like right. they were, they put the camera on him. Yeah, he was giving them the look like, what are we going to do with you guys now? You're all right. contaminated or so they think. Like he's, they're gross. Yeah, he's going to snitch. He's, he's going he's gonna to cause they... problems. Oh, is she not able to breathe our air now? No, I think she had just... just freaking out. That's all. Once again... Basically no, it looks like it's a flashback. She just came out of an alien spaceship. Wow. Can we She's been there for like a day and a half already. You'd be used to it. She's having that flashbacks. Yeah. yeah. Leave your respirators on and do not hesitate until you reach the equipment room. Well, I guess I don't need to tell you you're putting yourself at risk. For now, I'm going to give you another boost. Okay. Nothing else we can detect either, but I'd give them a strong cocktail regardless. I take the risk. Honey. Oh, you guys are right. This dude's going to be up to something. He's going to mess something up. It's not going to happen. You don't need to worry. I don't understand all these flashbacks to her. Something's going to jog her memory because she keeps getting wide-eyed every time she has a memory. Mm -hmm. Or the two memories the caterpillar. she's had. What does a caterpillar mean? Here are some of the many things we don't know about hyptopods. Trying to answer this in any meaningful way is hampered by the fact that 
outside being able to see them and hear them, the heptapods leave absolutely no footprint. The chemical composition of their spaceship is unknown. The shell emits no waste, no gas, no radiation. Why did they park where they did? The most plausible theory is that they chose places on Earth with the lowest incidence of lightning strikes. The next most plausible theory is that Sheena Easton had a hit song at each of these sites in 1980. <laughs> so we just don't know. <laughs> a little, little dry lightning, humor in there. Lightning strikes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they're not even yeah, going, not up, even, in not even going up in suits. Yeah. In walks. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. they're teaching them. They are teaching. <laughs> it conveys meaning. It doesn't represent sound. Perhaps they view our form of writing as a wasted opportunity. We have our friends in Pakistan to thank for their study of how heptapods write. These are a group of very smart people. <laughs> yes. Yeah, who Indeed. the hell wrote this shit? Yeah. <laughs> My crap. Also a very smart person. Yeah. <laughs> Linguists call this nonlinear orthography. Oh, look at all the words they're getting out of that. Imagine you wanted to write a sentence using hmm. two hands starting from either side. You would have to know each word you wanted to use, as well as how much space that it would occupy. A heptapod can write a complex sentence in two seconds, effortlessly. Nice out here, huh? Away from the noise. You approach language like a mathematician. You know that, right? I will take that as a compliment. I watch you steer us around these communication traps that I even know existed. I guess that's why I'm single. <laughs> Trust me, you can uh, understand communication and still end up single. I feel like everything that happens in there comes down to the two of us. Yeah, it's a good thing though, right? You and I? Those are the only two people that they're talking with and like associating with now. The same government who <clears throat> ruined our healthcare and bankrupted our military. We could be facing a full-scale invasion, and our president is just willing to sit back and let them waltz in and take our country. Yeah, him constantly getting his solo shots and moments. Yeah, it's he's, like he's they're important. telling you something about to go down. Is that the same person? Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, these guys are going to do something stupid. It's just weird. Oh, oh, she's thinking of her yeah. Here and her Aww. daughter. Want to see my project from Muscariot's class? As a parent, I can imagine that's one of the hardest things that you could ever think about your your kid going before you. Oh, yeah. And the worst two thing that could ever happen to a person. No, it's lovely. Wait. You know it's okay to be sad that your dad is. No, I'm not. Okay, that ex that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. We both love you very much. Divorce. She's just a cartoon. When was your last checkup we got together? Let me get some air. How are you feeling? I need some sleep, but I'm fine. You know, I was doing some, some reading um, about this idea that if you immerse yourself into a foreign language that you can actually rewire your brain. The sapphire wharf hypothesis. The language you speak determines how you think and it affects how you hmm. see everything. It was, uh, are you dreaming in their language? <gasps> Shh. Oh, learning their language and it's reprogramming. It's starting how to she take thinks. over. Yeah. Oh. All right. Oh. This is a little weird. Yeah. That was. She had a dream of <gasps> basically Jeremy telling it's her and Jeremy telling that to her self. Mm hmm. In oh, her they, dream. They got her in like a That's sick bay. That's crazy. Subconsciously. Do you know Mandarin? Best they could get her was a twin bed to sleep on? A twin cop. It's the military queen. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to save the world over here. We got a satellite feed here. Who are you talking to? If you want to look. He's saying that each of the 12 is offering advanced technology. Our science team is attempting to decode the um, sets. Something about advantage. I don't know. That's all. An hour ago, China mobilized forces. Russia's following suit. So they're all trying to get technology from them. Colonel, those are all tile sets in Mahjong. Are they using a game to converse with their heptapods? Why? Well, let's say that I taught them chess instead of English. Every conversation would be a game. Every idea expressed through opposition. Victory, defeat, you see the problem. If all I ever gave you was a hammer. Everything's a nail. Okay, so if someone's mobilizing, that means they're going to try to strike. Some. Yeah. I, well, they said they would. They wanted to get advanced technology from the aliens. Therefore, threatening to strike. Uh, how do you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, take yeah. down their ship and yeah. try to steal their. I mean, if you can take down the ship, 
You can dissect it and yep. get technology from it. Devon's purpose. Do we only have Costello? There's that. There he is. And there's Abbott. This can only be good? <laughs> oh, they, they showed that guy what does again. That mean? Offer weapon. But you saw what they wrote. Using a word they don't fully really understand. Just understand. Well, a warning. Enough. We don't know if they understand the difference between a weapon and a tool. Our language, like our culture, is messy, and sometimes one can be both. I think it's quite possible that they're asking us to offer them something, not the other way around. Hmm. How do we clarify their intentions? Oh, I, I go back in and we, we clear this it's, up. It's more complicated than that. How is it more complicated than that? The Secretary of Defense is on the line for you. Oh, look at this guy's hot. He's ready to... Ah, Take it out of the sky. Guy. We need to sit on this information until we know what it means, so we aren't sharing it with our enemies. We have to consider the idea that our visitors are prodding us to fight among ourselves until only one faction prevails. There's no evidence of that. Sure there is. Let's grab a history book. They even got a name for it in Hungary. We're a world with no single leader. Uh, so it's like, what happened? Oh, yeah, everybody's figuring it out. Somebody had a leak, got the info out. It was probably Mr. Freaking Sketch over here. China and Russia are off the grid. They aren't speaking to anyone. We have orders to do the same. Wait, these are our Girl, allies. Colonel, you can't shut us Put down. Put us on radio silence. Damn it! We need to be talking to each other. You want to talk to them? Find out what this means. They should really listen to her. She <laughs> might be the one so to save everybody's every lives. Every country yeah. is now just not yep. communicating with each other. Yep. yep. This is the alien message said to have provoked the Chinese government. In a statement, General Shang said, China no longer trusts the aliens who want to divide us. China has asked for immediate talks at the UN. You guys there, there's something more than there. What? Yeah, this uh, those, dude's those getting too like much screen time. He's yeah. way too much screen time for just a background character. Right. They have so much screen time. Just stay quiet and stare off into the distance. Yeah, he's got C4. They're going to. <laughs> What is happening? I'm really to do good that? at seeing scumbags before they become mm -hmm. scumbags. <laughs> yeah. good, good They're going to bring all that and try to blow it up from the inside. Take them down. That's what inside. I'm thinking. Why? They haven't done anything. Dr. Banks, you can't go in We just there. need to ask one question. Dr. Banks, you can't go back in. It's dangerous. Look, we just need five minutes. Don't sweat it. Marks, let him go. Wow. Yep, there's only four minutes left. Oh, They don't even know. No, they don't. Does anybody know that homeboy went up and yeah. planted that stuff? Or did they do it on their own? I think they did it on their own. Because that one dude's been acting sketchy nonstop. Oh, I think yeah. he did it on his own. I think you guys are right, because Forrest Whitaker would have been... Why do you know? Oh, he has been no idea. He has no idea. idea. Wait. The escort See? units are not responding, sir. They're not responding. Yep. Said security. They're doing it off the grid. Are you offering us something? Better offer, for an yeah, offer, see? give, donate, award. See, this is a different Yeah, they're word. offering a gift. This, this segment, it's a lot busier. Give technology now. It just oh. hit the glass. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, it is. It's happening. It. Oh, oh, he's trying to warn them. He's him. trying to it's warn them about the... trying to warn them. Oh, they went rogue. Yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, this is great. He's like... Can you even do that? That's pretty cool. Oh, come on. They're going to hit us in the fields. She's controlling it. Oh, she is. Look, she's drawing. So it's like she's using like her mind and it's it's just forming it out. What? Wow. That's the... pretty cool. Uh, oh, no. we're, is this out? Are we going to oh lose them? Oh, my gosh. He, they're trying to warn her. He doesn't want to leave. Turn around. Turn around. I get it because they're get, they're captivated. Uh, yeah. But what's going on? They're so mesmerized right now. Oh, now they oh, hear what's... the the uh, the action outside right yeah. now. Yeah. You hear that? Yep. Yeah. No. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, it's. Oh, it use gravity to get rid of it, or to get rid of them and seal it off. <gasps> wow. It's, it saved them. Yeah. Yo, he was like, y'all are not hearing me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, hey, take it easy. Who did this? Some soldiers. I've been watching too much TV. The site's no longer secure. We're standing by to evacuate. Where's he? 
Uh, whoever came and got him maybe 10 minutes ago. He wouldn't leave until he knew you were okay. Your whole tent is on the clock to figure out whatever it is you were given up there. The feed wasn't interrupted by the explosion. No, it's fine. Let's see. Get together with Louise's team. I need everybody working on this. We cannot leave. We need to go back in and we need to explain to them this wasn't our fault. We, we can't we go back inside. Them. We have to. We may have to evacuate. No, that's the wrong move. As long as they stay, we have to stay. Oh, are they leaving or attacking? I don't know, but there's no way it stays this mellow the whole time. I know, right? There's going to be no. something. Yeah, it's leaving. Oh. Or maybe not. Ooh. Oh, it's not. Oh, oh not no. It's not. No, no, no. Oh, boy. China becomes the first world power to declare war against the aliens. China has confirmed that its language experts have tonight delivered an ultimatum at the Shanghai site. In a televised statement, General Shang, chairman of the People's Liberation Army, said the aliens have 24 hours to leave Chinese territory or face destruction. Pakistan, Russia, and Sudan are thought to be following China's lead. That is not, not smart. Yeah, this is going to get messy. It can't be random. It's going to take us years. What's this term here? Hmm. Uh, what's this term? For that thing, like a like a technical term, where we make a deal and we both get something out of it. Like it's a competition. Both sides end up happy. More science-y than that. If you want science, call your father. Father's a scientist? I'm telling you, something weird is going on here. <laughs> I know. I was I was waiting for somebody I just to don't say know it. where they're going with it. You're thinking the dad might be uh behind some of this or no? <sighs> No, I'm thinking Jeremy Renner is somehow the dad. He thinks that it's a time loop. Yeah. Type I'm thinking thing there's some sort of funky earlier, right? time yeah, I loop. I think so too. That's the dad. So what is this? There are too many gaps. Nothing's complete. Stop focusing on the ones. Look at the zeros. How much of this is data? How much of it is negative space? 0. 0.0833 recurring. One of twelve. There was twelve of them. Oh. This is one of 12. China just threatened to destroy their shell. We're on our own. Yeah, Two hours ago, we pulled this audio off a secure channel in Russia. Someone on the science team there was broadcasting why. In their final session, the aliens said, there is no time. Many become one. I fear we have all been given weapons. If anyone is receiving this, please. Many become I bet all 12 of those pods go together. Russia just executed one like of their him. own experts to keep their secrets. Many become one could just be their way of saying some assembly required. Why? Force us to work together for once. Oh. Bingo. We'll give up their data. We offer ours in return. It's a non-zero sum game. Non-zero sum game. Something funky is going on here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, something this was is time. weird. There's something with it. Now, be fair, have you seen it up to this point? No, I, I got like two seconds of this movie <laughs> that came on, and I was like, this isn't vibing for me, and I turned it off. <laughs> the Pentagon's crazy. convinced our shell will retaliate. They're not our enemy. They've made no active aggression she has towards a plan. us. How do we get you back in that room when it's half a mile straight up? Are they going to open up for her? Yes, look. Yeah, Maybe. oh, look. Oh, they sent a pod? What the hell is happening? Ain't no freaking way. A pod? That looks... Looks like one of the things it's at like the bank a, when you'd send your check up. <laughs> <Thunk. laughs> or a JBL speaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had one. I had a, a charge two, a JBL charge two. It looks exactly like it. Ah, 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 That's where they got the idea. <laughs> it is a pot. Oh my God. It is. She's going to go in there. Yo. I love it. Go with her, dude. Run. Yeah, he's too far away. Okay, this would be a little scary. Right. What is going on? No, it's it's the fog that those guys were in. Dude, this if I didn't is. eat food before I watched this, my brain would hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're there coming is. in. I'm so confused. Whoa. Oh, look at that thing. Look at that. Okay, so it's way bigger than just the, the legs that we were looking at. Yeah. Way right. bigger. Where's Abbott? Oh, wow. Abbott is that's what she saw. I'm sorry. I need you to send a message to the other sites. He was what? 
is your purpose here? Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Dude, this audio is insane. It is. Isn't it? Awesome. Awesome. In 3,000 years. They, built, they probably built the pyramids. In 3,000 years, we need humanity help. Oh. I don't. Who is this child? Oh, it's not her daughter. It's somebody else she keeps seeing. The show is called Mommy and Daddy Talk to mm. Animals. Oh, okay. All yep, right. There it is. There it is. It is. It's like a, and there's it's a canary. canary. Yeah, it's a weird time warp thing going on. I'm super. She's seen what's good. There you Louise go. Sees future. Oh, right my there. oh it's so her. That's the, future. the child yep. is her. Yeah, yeah. So that's she keeps seeing the future, yeah. but yeah. we're in the now. Oh my gosh. So knows. did she never have Weapon an open child? Time. Oaks, right? Weapon opens yeah. time, though. Yeah. The weapon no, because in the beginning they showed she had no the daughter that Wait. passed from cancer. Yep. No. no, she sees the future, dude. She knows now that her daughter is gonna. Is going to die from check cancer. Out. Yeah. What we're in right now is it, she's single. Right so now she's single. Uh, she's, oh, yeah, because okay. she said she's single even though she had the ring. So the future is going to be her and Renner with the kid. And then she sees what happens with the kid. Boom. Wow. But she, she I'm but her around. and Renner split? No. Yeah, in the future they yeah, do. Her and Renner would eventually split that. Yep. Because yes. call your dad. He's yeah, the scientist. Yeah. Yes. I Like... All right, I'm glad I, that you guys we, figured it out. I got like part of it, but not really. Yeah, I don't I feel like the pulse yeah we're over here, here just looking at each other. Oh, like, like, the this three all makes sense. Us, like, we're so... trying to, answers over there just zoned in. No, we're trying to put language pieces yeah. together. You right? Yeah. We have orders to evacuate. Why? Russia and Sudan are following China. Mom. What day is it? Do you know, baby? Sunday. Are you going to leave me like Daddy did? Hannah, honey, your Daddy didn't leave you. You're going to see him this weekend. He doesn't look at me the same way anymore. Double gut punch. That's my fault. I told him something that he wasn't ready to hear. Oh, she told him what was going to happen with her. So it is true. It is what we discussed. I know something that's going to happen. Dude. I can't explain how I know I just do. And when I told your daddy, he got really mad. Uh, okay, I'm more confused now. It has to do with a, a really rare disease. And it's unstoppable. Kind of like you are. I am unstoppable. Yeah, I am super confused right now. This is the future. <clears throat> but if she knew that, I wonder if there's a movie cut on YouTube that just puts us all in chronological. If she knew that, she'd be spending 100 every is, single right? day. Gotta be with her daughter. Gotta be. Oh wait, oh, you were married. Wow. Uh oh. They said we're landing. That shot with the helicopter the rising yeah. reminds me of Rambo. <laughs> it does. What's my name, Hannah? Dude, I can't take the flashbacks now. They're flash no, no, they're flash, flash forwards. Yes, Hannah, you write it the same way. You could start yeah. at both sides it's, and write it and meet yeah, in the middle. That's what she's saying, yeah. You could write Hannah and meet in the middle. Yeah, just like the aliens talk. Or right. Well, like they were saying, start it with your left hand and your right hand and meet in the middle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I am so like <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like they watched Interstellar and said, <laughs> we can make it more confusing than that. Two. Hey. Wait, what? We're Hannah. done here. She wrote the book on their language in the future. Yes, and she's, oh, that's Got genius. Because she did classes on it. Yep. I know what it is. What? The weapon is their language. They gave it all to us to. She is officially the smartest woman on this planet. <laughs> Time, it, it isn't the same for them. It's non-linear. It was an honor to work with. They said non-linear, hey, right? This movie is blowing my mind. But they started the movie with her having the daughter. That's what throws me off. Well, they were just starting well, and look, yeah, yeah see, they've totally got They wanted flag. to confuse us. Wait, what? Yeah, there's yeah. the China yep. dude. It's the general. Mine, really. The only reason why I'm here is to meet you in person. Now, 18 mm. months ago, you did something remarkable. What's that? You changed my mind. You're the reason 
for this unification. All because you reached out to me on my private number. She's going to call the general in our time and tell him what's uh, up. That's crazy. What? I believe it was important for you to see that. I called you, didn't I? Yes, you did. But she doesn't have her cell phone. Remember, they took She's going to call the Chinese president's number. But she has to go find her cell phone. She got it yep. taken away right as they got to the site. She's got to find She's a sat a phone. Got a jack yep, right in. there. There's a sat line here dialing China. Uh, here? What do you mean, here? Whose phone is it? Yours. I hope that's what it is. Yeah. It's your phone, sir. Ah, <laughs> yes! Uh, oh, he checks his pockets. Search base camp now. He gave a look like you all saw that I'm right here. Yeah, right it here. wasn't me doing right. it. I will never forget what you said. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, this is such a come on. Oh, what is it? You told me my wife's dying words. Oh, that's how he'll know that she can predict the future, or see the future, rather. It's the found the source of the phone call. It's in the clean room. I'm waiting for instructions. What are you doing? Changing someone's mind. No, trust me. That'd be right right step two, trust me. Well, Crazy. Drop the phone now or we shoot. You are committing an act of treason. It's done. I'm done. And it worked. Uh. Blackout from all 12 landing sites continues this evening. China has called an emergency press conference. General Shang, Commander-in-Chief of the People's Liberation Army, has announced in an emergency press conference that China is standing down. China is stating that all intelligence they have received will be shared immediately mm -hmm. with all the other landing China's sites. The all they had to do oh, was listen. Dude, the, remember the, the, uh, the ship said yeah. that Lewis was the weapon. She, follow me here, was she the, what she is, with her abilities, she stopped all of this. Yeah, she stopped the world yep. from yeah, ending. The from self-destruction. Yep. Yeah. She yep. wanted the world, Basically. they wanted the world to work together. Because yep. they needed, they needed. Wait, that is that thing going into years. the ocean? No, oh, it, it just, just disintegrated. Yeah, it looks just like. Vanished. Into the mist. Oh, they saw what was going to happen. They yep. came back. They came to her. They, yeah, they said in three thousand wow. years we need you. So they came years, back. They, they made need... Lois or Louise the tool to see the future and warn everybody and make it work. And she was the weapon to yeah. uh, defuse. Yeah. The worst situation. Yeah, they said in three thousand years they will need her her help. Yep. But this better not be a roll of credits. I, I, <laughs> Uh, the music it, again. Yeah, we're. We well, I, I think uh, we're going to see gonna her thing. caught up with uh, Ian now. Digging this uh, track, though. We're going to go back to the beginning of the movie. That's oh yeah, I'm downloading this for sure after that. Oh, yes. music. dude, as soon that's as we're the, all off of this, I'm I'm searching the album on Spotify. Yeah, this is the opening <laughs> shot. Yeah. Hannah, this is where your story begins. The day they departed. And your dad and I. You're all right. Despite knowing the journey. But maybe she knows not to tell Ian what happens. I embrace it. Yeah, that's what she just basically Wait, said. Wait, right is, is that him? Yeah, at their that was him outside their house. Yep. Oh. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> she knew the whole time from the moment she got pregnant and had a daughter that she would lose her daughter. Just like she said, she, she knew the it. whole time. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's brutal. No, it yeah. makes it more special. She went through with it to have that experience. <laughs> she didn't tell him. In this version, she didn't tell him. In no, the original, she, she did tell him. That's why they split up. Now she's not going yeah. to. Well, they were together you until this age. Her. They yeah. still split. She tells him. And then they split because she waited so long to tell him. This is before they split. Well, now they're giving us dad, oh, with, guess what? Star dad with her. And they gave us finally the reveal here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she just let it play out. She didn't tell him. Yeah, right. that's what I think. Because he didn't like it the first time. Yep. No, because in the right. flashback pic, she says with the middle. If you could see your whole life from start to finish, would you change things? 
Say what I feel more often. I, I don't know. Remember when the daughter said, why did dad leave? Yep. Because at that age and at that time, that's when she finally decided to tell him, and that's what made them split. So these scenes of Jeremy Renner and the daughter were before the split. This is crazy. You know what surprised me the most? It wasn't meeting them. It was meeting you. It was meeting you. <laughs> well, I got some crazy stuff to tell you about the future together. I forgot how good it felt to be held by you. You want to make a baby? Dude, it's brilliant. It all happens. They're just now giving us more of the fill. Yep. Uh, she, she knew it was all going to happen. We'll yeah. Get, yeah. Oh, my God. Is it, now they're just hitting us in the feels like hard. I can imagine there was a lot of sniffles in the theater. Mm. I can imagine. Oh, oh, my God. Here's the credit. Oh. <laughs> what a trip. Uh-huh. What a good movie. Fantastic. That's crazy. <laughs> it took a little bit to put together because uh, we were a little confused for a second. Yeah. That was okay. good. Based on a story. Based okay. on a short story. Yeah. Holy shit. All right. Well, there it was. Wow. And if your mind's not melted over that, I don't know what what I can say. That was a rival. And uh, kick it to our guests here first. Mr. and Mrs. Flicks, love to hear your thoughts on this one. My mind is completely blown, <laughs> first of all. it's I don't even know where to start. I mean, I was quite confused for a minute there. But I like how the pieces put together in my head because this movie was so good. It was so good how it just, like, it worked its way in. And, like, you wouldn't have even seen that coming from the start of her having a daughter and having cancer and plot twist that's like literally her seeing her future. Who created this movie? <laughs> <laughs> like that is so good. Oh my gosh. I such a, such a good movie. I the cast was great. I, my mind is just blown. Like I I think I was a little too confused at first to understand it, but then once these guys just started talking and then I was trying to listen to what they were saying as the movie was literally saying what they're saying. I'm like, <laughs> you guys are smart. <laughs> they help for sure. <laughs> such a such a good movie. What did you think of it? Um, pretty much 95 percent of what you just said. Uh, the biggest part is confusion. Yeah. Um, yeah. I before I say anything, I do want to uh, specify something on a harder note. Um, I don't personally know anybody dealing with cancer. Me personally, I do not know. Um, but for those of you who have been through that yourselves, know anybody, a loved one, friend, anybody, um, I hope it gets better for you. Uh, everybody knows that it's nothing, it's nothing great to have to go through. Um, but on the movie side of it, um, I also want to know who made this movie. I want to talk to them personally. I want to know what they were going through when they made this movie and just like, I'm pretty sure I've done what, roughly 250 videos by now. Mm. This is the least I've ever talked. And it's not because (laughs) (laughs) that I was on here with them. It's specifically, yes, I literally (laughs) was trying my hardest, like. He's going to zoom. I know, I know I gave Dave so many faces. <laughs> I'm going to become a meme at this point. Like, yeah. I'm so confused. I was so confused. Like, but I also think that that's what makes this movie a good movie. It's yeah. at first, like, you kind of go into it. Just, you know, it might be simple. It might be this. It might be that. And then at the end, we're all, especially, especially the Oak. Like, everybody is just freaking, like, Mind what is going on? Like, we're all asking the same exact question. This was a good movie. Um, I, Amy Adams is an amazing actress. Mm-hmm. So I had no, you know, I didn't have a question if she was going to perform or Jeremy Renner. Mm. I didn't have a question if they were going to perform. Um, I did not know Forrest Whitaker was in here. So <laughs> I didn't know any of the guys. And, and I love him in movies, so he kind of just jumped in there. 
Um, but it was a good movie. But that's all I got to say. I don't know. I don't know. Once it all put together in my head, it tur- like my head was like, wow, this is a great movie. But I was really confused at first. So I think I'm going to like, I'm not going to go to five because, you know, I was really confused. <laughs> But I'm gonna give it a solid four because I once it put together, I was like, "Wow, Bianca, why didn't you get this beforehand?" <laughs> good movie, definitely a good movie. I liked it. Um, so I might be mistaken, but it was between me and somebody on your guys' end that said something about like way earlier in the movie. I said something about him possibly being a dad, but who else said it though? I believe oh, I, I believe that was the Oak. Yeah, yeah, just one. I think something yeah. about ask yeah. your dad. He's the scientist, and it's like, wait a minute. Yeah, and there was right, no right. other, no other guys in the yeah, movie other than Jeremy Renner. They, yeah, it was weird. But that. like, who was putting that together? That it was like, I was like, oh, how does that work? What's, yeah. what's going on? I kind of just threw that out there. Like, yeah. I honestly, I had no idea that, of, you know, I didn't have a certainty of anything. Yeah. I just threw yeah, it out there. So. I'm just like, hey, sometimes movies just throws things at you. Um, I'm going to do a 4.1. Nice. Do, uh, if I could do that. Can I do the one? Oh, yeah. Or, we do that. Yeah, we, we, we do whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do a 4.1 out of 5. People like to do right. decimals on here. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody down. <laughs> well, for me, was guys, say, Arrival right. was. <laughs> Brain equals hurt. <laughs> for me, Arrival, this was a fantastic movie. And, um, you know, at the start, it was a little bit slow to, to get things going, but then once everything kind of kicked into high gear, it really started moving. Um, like, as uh, you guys said, Amy Adams and Jeremy Renner did fantastic in this. I love seeing any movie with Forrest Whitaker. The guy's a chameleon. He can do any role, and he's fantastic at it. I don't think this one really stressed his acting ability much. I mean, just, hey, be a gruff general. Like, yeah. that's not asking a lot of Forrest Whitaker. I mean, he can do a lot. Uh, but still, always good to see him in. And the... You know how they started off the beginning with with Amy Adams and her and her child. It made you think that hey, this is what she's gone through, and now she's kind of buried herself in her work, and this is you know all she does. But here we find out later on that that's all things yet to come, and she has the ability to to change that as she wants. And it was just really fantastic. I love how they showed. Um, the humans, for lack of a better term, everybody on on the Earth, kind of our reaction to the to the aliens, and you know they showed a lot of clips from the news all over the world, everybody acting differently, and all those things that you know we kind of see uh, anytime major events pop off. So definitely not a stretch of the imagination to to envision a lot of that. Um, I like how the the aliens were there, but as you finish this movie, you're almost like. And I think you guys hit on it. This is a romantic movie. At the end of the day, the aliens <laughs> yeah. are are really a secondary character. They're just a vehicle to move the story of uh, yeah, Amy Adams and Jeremy yeah. Renner forward, and 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 you know their love and everything. So that was really interesting. Um, I like that. They too. said it was based on a short story. I would love to see how you put a movie like this into a short right. story and you're able to convey everything that happens through just words i mean was it a graphic novel did they at least get to have pictures you know uh so that was really cool and my only regret with this movie is you can only have the excitement and the experience that we did one time yeah because after you see it you know you know the story you know how it plays right. out yes you can yeah. appreciate it for being a good movie but you only get the experience that we had once and to everybody out there who recommended this uh if you did thank you so much because this is one that again you know I, I i wouldn't have checked it out 2016 maybe kind of fell by the wayside but uh it was definitely fantastic and uh i've like I said, I thought it was just excellent. I will give it a 4.3 out of 5 answers. Uh, like I said, the only thing that drug it down a little bit for me was a bit of the slow start in the beginning, but I do understand uh, storytelling and world building, so can't fault it too much for that. A lot of fun. All right, so it was a story by Ted Chang. He's the one that wrote like this movie, and he adapted it from the story of your life. 
So that's what they have as far as on Wikipedia. So maybe we got to get out there and maybe check out this <laughs> short story and just see like where he pulled all that out <laughs> of. Because I mean, I, all Joey right. said it does. It did hurt my brain. Um, I I liked how it jumped right into the arrival. I loved all the whole time loop. They had a great, you know, three headed monster as your as your top billed actors with Renner, Adams, and then Forrest, who's like you said, chameleon. I mean. Everybody's loved him since he was Jefferson and uh, Fast Times. But uh, my one thing I was going to ask, though, is what does uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson think of this whole thing? <laughs> I, and I only say it because on a lot of movies like this and Interstellar stuff, he usually has a few quips. Uh, I sent the guys one from uh, Top Gun Maverick that I was told to shut up. <laughs> so, Stop ruining my fun. <laughs> so, yeah, but um, this was a lot of fun, and it really racks your brain the whole time. And just seeing the torment that Amy Adams is going through, because at the end of the day, too, you see that she knows what's going to end up happening when she falls in love with Jeremy and when they have a kid, and she still goes ahead with it. And, you know, it's a little gut-wrenching at the same time, so maybe, but she has the ability to change it. We don't know if they did, so I always love that secret. So for me, I give it a 4.25 answers. And I, it was a lot of fun, and actually, I think it does have a little bit of rewatchability, just because then you're able to see if you can pick other moments that you see. In oh, that's a good point. What do you just need, marker? <sighs> I'm oddly emotional right now, and I'm not even like I'm not even kidding. This movie, as Mason Quid <clears throat> said, has nothing to do with aliens. Answer: I hate to correct you, but she knows exactly what happens, and she chooses to do it anyhow. This movie has nothing to do with aliens. Um, we can talk about the importance of communication, importance of coming and working together, the importance of understanding that the way certain people communicate isn't always going to be the way that we communicate and how trying to understand that <clears throat> and taking a step back and putting in more effort and learning um, can help uh, clear up a lot of confusions. You know, they use the word weapon and tool and talked about how, you know, not everything translate. It's one to one. This movie didn't have anything to do with aliens. This movie had to do with life choices. And would you make the same choices if you knew the outcome? And they hit you with the absolute heaviest scenario you possibly could with the passing of your child. And they made it extra gut wrenching by throwing in that she knew before they said, let's make a baby. Um, the question, would you change anything if you could, uh, gets thrown out in uh, somewhat of a cliche fashion in all different points of our life. And I think any parent, um, you know, maybe you would, you know, change the way you've, you know, raised a child. But as far as, as far as changing having children, I think once you have them, you would, I can't imagine any, any parent saying they would change anything. Um, you know, if if I somehow had the ability to see the future and I knew when he was 13 or 14 or however old uh, her daughter was in this movie that he was going to get cancer and, and, and pass, um, I think as a parent, all you would do is try to make their life as normal as possible, um, as enjoyable as possible, and, and do the best that you can knowing that your time is limited. The curveball that they threw into that story which isn't necessarily the most unique story of you know look you find out you know we find out that people have cancer and terminal illness and if you have you know five years to live or ten years to live that's not necessarily a, a super unique story she knew before they started trying to get pregnant mm -hmm. that the child that they did have that she was going to get pregnant and they were going to have a child and then that child that they were going to have they were going to lose her, um, which as a parent, like, I guess that's why that's hit me weird <clears throat> is like, I mean, the it's, it's an easy answer. Like right now, if I, if I could go back and somehow prior to having my son, if I knew, Hey, you're, you're going to have a son, but you know, he, you're going to raise him. And you know, when he's in his teens, he's going to get cancer and you're going to lose him. So if, if you want right now, you can, you know, do the uh, things you, you can to avoid having a child, even before, before any of it. You know, would you change it, being able to see the future? And I get like, f like, fuck, you know? It's like, I love my kids so much. Like, even if I knew beforehand, 
that I was going to lose him. And I think any parent would say the same thing. Like, fuck, I'm getting emotional talking about this. Um, I wouldn't change anything. Like, I wouldn't change anything. And it's a devastating thing to think about. Um, and this, look, this isn't even like cancer. This is about just losing a child. And would you change it? If you, if you knew the future, would you change it if you had the opportunity to change it? And she didn't. Um, so if there is any confusion about the timeline with Jeremy Renner, they weren't together. And this is how I interpret. And I fairly, like, I know sometimes people are like, is the, is the oak pissed or bored? <laughs> and sometimes I just get hyper-focused. And I'm sorry, that's, that's just my face. Um, but I'm 99% sure what happened is they met doing the thing. Um, they had the baby, and then when she got to a certain age, she's like, why did dad leave? And then she says, he doesn't look at me the same anymore. I think when she got to that six or seven, however old she was, that's when Amy Adams' character told Jeremy Renner, look, I learned to see time differently when I was in the ship, and our daughter is going to have cancer. He's like, how could you not tell me this before we had her? You've known this the whole time. You kept this from me. And so that's why they split uh that mm -hmm. that's the case so it's an interesting timeline and like i was racking my brain the whole time like trying to pay attention trying to figure out how this could be um but i didn't like you think it's going to be an alien movie right like it, the movie Not has movie. nothing to do with aliens it has to do with the choices that we make in life and would you go back and change things if you knew that you were going to face tragedy and like i said the answer is i gotta be honest if i i would do the exact same thing amy adams did if i knew that before my fiance and i had my son that i was gonna lose him in that same fashion i wouldn't I wouldn't change anything. So uh, for me, um, I, I can understand if somebody isn't like super hyper focused on this movie. And, 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 and I've said this multiple times, I never want to come across preachy to people who don't have children, but movies that position you in the position to uh, put yourself in their shoes of other parents, it, it just hits you differently. Um, <clears throat> The, the adaptation of a story to a movie like this that played out the way it did, um, I am my mind is is blown. And I said before we started that I saw some clip of this movie and I was like, eh, change a channel, you know, probably when they were right human. I do remember memes, but I am so glad everybody recommended this, and I am glad that I had a forced rewatch. This was a, a five answer movie for me. I thought this movie was brilliant. Yeah, with so I'll kind of start from the. The beginning, like, I know, Mace Quid, you thought there was kind of a slow start. I didn't see it that way. I thought for sure with the storytelling, with the the way they started off with such a, I'll call it a hot fin uh, hot start because they're, they're gripping you with the emotion of uh, a passing. So, of course, in this case was a daughter, so, of course, a lot of parents out there. Or you can, I mean, they, they straight up said that it's cancer, so anyone that has cancer. You know, it was going to be uh, rare have and some operable tie ins. Is what, yeah, or, or whatever that, yeah, that disease. Yeah. So, um, right then and there, somehow, some way, someone can relate to that uh, in some shape or form, potentially, right? So, I, the way they, to me, they actually kind of jumped from that point, they jumped into it pretty quick uh, with the uh, steps. Like, there was the, how did they discover, or I'll start with this, they didn't negotiate anything. It was just, <laughs> hey, do you want it? Well, hey, when you go to talk to him, ask him this. They flew in a helicopter, basically did the, the quick little exchange. Oh, I'll go get my stuff. Uh, all right, what do I get out of this besides saving what they thought was the world, even though this wasn't saving the world, but now knowing what we know, it's it's just a mind bend to me, uh, at least, if, if for what it is now, knowing the end versus what we got in the beginning because it's like, in the beginning, you at least in my head, I'm thinking, okay, so we're gonna go save save uh, save the Earth, but then the aliens came for her to make the call. So basically, so the Earth didn't have that self destruction. So yeah, I guess in the sense that I'm saying that I love me, it was kind of life saving, right? <laughs> Maybe I guess they left that kind of for in mm, your own yeah. interpretation there. Um, you know, just the way they they slowly did the breadcrumbs for. The buildup at the end, I thought was now, and 
and reflecting on it was actually pretty good because I thought the pacing of this was actually probably as good as it can get for this type of film because uh, it to me it was gripping every single second I mean the, the way they introduced uh, the uh, the chaos kind of slowly building right at first you, you didn't see the jets you just heard them flying left and right and then eventually showed it the way they introduced the uh, the aliens you know it it was the slow shadow build and then boom you got the hand I, I call it a hand because it looked like a hand with knuckles um, and then you know the build building process of uh, how important communication is I, I thought she was being a smart ass for a second to Forrest Whitaker when she was describing the sentence yeah. of this is where you want to go and he's like yes and then she she literally broke down each step of what she was trying to yeah. do f- with the words how much goes into it mm-hmm. just yeah to form that. you know and i thought that at first it was she was just being smart ass but then when she finished i'm like oh she wasn't being smart ass she was actually hey we need to do this i thought that was genius <clears throat> um and then now kind of the the heels will say was our was our own people or was the U.S. troops? I should probably add that out. Maybe was the U.S. troops? Uh, who would have thought that the U.S. troops would have went and did that like that? Only because they kept getting in their own heads, seeing yep. the uh, we'll say the the yep. poison on TV. Yep, they had all the stressed out people called. They showed that phone bank of all the soldiers with all the the phone. Yeah. What's going on? What's happening? Da ba 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 ba. You know the 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 the, uh, the stress and everything that they were under. Yeah, sure. so that right there was a tension builder, yeah. right? And then we see four soldiers go rogue, and then do that. And the way the aliens were trying to communicate. With just that was imp- awesome. That yeah. was just amazing, wasn't it? With, they just said, screw it, with a couple seconds left. Did the impact. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they went flying. Unfortunately, we lost Abbott, right? Because she said it was Costello. So we lost Abbott. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Um, which, that, when she got into the ship on the pod, again, now that was another mind, Ben, because now she's with them. And now we're finally getting subtitles. <laughs> yeah. 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 Which was huge, mm-hmm. because, as you already know, but for us, we saw... The, the list of words, it was like, they, they yeah, kept trying to read them. <laughs> Man, what, was this a sentence or just words? <laughs> so I thought that, again, I thought that was genius. Now, you know, they kept filtering in the, the flash forwards, I guess in this case. Flash forwards. Where I yep. thought it was flash back yep. for the most yeah. of it, which is, I'm sure the writers were intending yeah, for that to happen that. until the reveal. And then, you know, Oak kind of said it with the uh, dad being a scientist, then it kind of gets your brain kind of working. But then it's like, well, how do, it doesn't make sense to connect right now. Mm-hmm. They had so much yeah. going on for your brain to work where I think like all of us here where even Answer had it on a board for a minute. It's like brain hurt, but <laughs> yeah. it's just because you're trying to process and connect all the dots. <clears throat> the line that got me at the end was she said, if you could see your whole life from start to finish, would you change it right then and there that, you know, that put the stamp that she knew everything, even though the buildup was building to that. I saw it was genius that uh, the, it kind of got me a little emotional because they started flooding us with, you know, her, him and the kid. And it was just, you know, we got to see all these happy moments knowing that she knows that this terrible tragedy is coming. And just kind of like Oak alluded to, you know, it may, the movie makes you ask yourself, would you change anything? It doesn't even have to be, you know, knowing that you're going to have a kid or whatever life scenario you want. It's asking you, would you change it? And wow, I thought that was some powerful, powerful stuff right there. Uh, again, gripping, impactful. Uh, it, seeing the flashbacks got me slightly emotional there. Uh, for me, I'm going to give this movie a straight up 4.6. Because uh, again, I had no idea. I thought it was about aliens about to come take over the world, and they just need to do the thing. Yeah, get Ripley. <laughs> and it was not even that kind of story at the end of the at the end of the movie. Uh, genius. Now that I know, I want to go back and watch and rewatch it, and yeah. so I can pick up yeah. some little that's pieces. A, that's why I said it was a rewatch. Yeah. Movie. Try and yeah, this figure is, some things it's, out. It's interesting because you know normally when you see a movie where there's like time bending and flashbacks, they make a point to almost kind of beat you over the head with yeah. the idea of time. They only mention it in the beginning. And then the somewhere there in the middle, she talked about the aliens time not being linear and then that was pretty much it as yeah. far as references to time go. It threw me off right in the get-go. And look, if this is a movie about 
aliens, right? Like, and that's what they lead you to believe it is right away. This is a movie about aliens arriving. The fact that she threw something out in the beginning. Look, and maybe it's because we've recently watched um, Interstellar, Interstellar and Tenet. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, like, I'm hyper-focused mm. on the time thing. But the fact that she brought that up, that planted, like, this little seed in my head. And then I thought they were flashbacks. I was a little bit confused. But look, uh, the child passing could help the story develop and like, okay, now she's in a different portion of her life and she doesn't have responsibilities so she can fly off and work for the military. But when when we watch movies, and especially when we watch as many as, as we have and as, as you guys have, you start like being more cognizant of uh, why a movie is structured the way it is. The fact that the 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 the, the soldier <laughs> the soldier got a little bit too much screen time. Yep. Right? He got a yep. little bit too much screen time. They paid a little too close of attention to his facial features for him to be a non character. The flash forwards or even if they were flashbacks, that doesn't really fit in a story about aliens arriving and learning to communicate. It doesn't fit. It's like, well why do they you know why do they keep showing like you know, flashbacks or wh whatever, or flash forwards. It doesn't make sense, and and that's when I start like, okay, something's something's weird uh, yeah. is happening. So the more there. she learned their language, the more she could see into the that's yeah. so that. Uh, thank you. Answer brought up. Answer brings up a really good point. Why does she start having these continual mm -hmm. things? And and I don't think that a lot of people pick up on that answer. I'm glad you did, and I don't know if you guys you, you did. The more she started learning their language. The more she had a, that that understanding of time, and that's why the more she spoke with them, the more she had those flash forwards. Well, remember, she was learning. Remember, Jeremy, she had that dream where her subconscious was Jeremy Renner, and he asked that question. I can't remember the exact word for word, but he asked whatever he asked, which was alluding to their language. Yep. Uh, so that was kind of like a Kickstarter right there for that. This is definitely seeds again. The, they dropped so much yeah. in here. Now it's going to like the rewatch. Like this said, is a thousand be, percent. Mm -hmm a rewatch and again thank you so yes, much to the people that recommended this i think i was flipping through some channels i don't remember what part it was it was probably really like human on a board and i'm like what, what am i watching <laughs> like, I, do rem I do remember there was some that's right there was some pretty good there was some pretty good memes with her holding up yeah. the uh the whiteboard that i yeah, that well, i mean bro hey, comes again yeah the, i want to shout out the soundtrack don't know who did it but I will find out after we get off the camera <laughs> here. Yeah. For, we will find you. This, I'm guy, huge on movie. Hey, this guy with his soundtrack. Hey, you guys. Oh, how, yes. how big are you guys on uh, movie soundtracks or, or for the uh, scores of the films? <clears throat> how big are you versus me? He's bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's bigger. It's, it's, he pays I always attention hear music. to it more. Yeah. Hey, Brian, does it always. or does not set the tone for how it's, it's you so, feel, set your emotions? So it's, it's everything. They did the so first, the first three you. minutes of this movie, I... I didn't know what was going to happen, but it's just, like I said, I'm, I'm good with tones. Mm -hmm. I'm good with shots, like uh, at the part where they just, the very first time they showed that guy before he did the whole explosion and all that stuff, they, they that shot was on him for like 10 whole seconds. Yeah. It seemed like And it's it, just yeah. like, there's certain things like, I like I like how uh, Oak just said that. Um, when we When she used to watch movies, when we first started... She wasn't really catching these things. She wasn't looking, you know, deeper into stuff like this and that. And it's it's so funny how I've just watched her grow as a mm -hmm. as a content creator and she just watches movies completely different now. Like now it's opposite. I'm sitting here confused as hell, and she's over here just like calling just like, stuff out. And I'm just like, just, just, just wait. What happened? Wait, wait until all the people on your channel are like, we don't know if she likes it or hates it, because I sit here and watch movies sometimes and I'm like Good. I'm literally staring yeah. off. Like, I, like, I you'll love see it. My brain like, is awe. just like going a million miles an hour. Now you're there. Yeah. So. I didn't know that we could do points. So like I graded mine so low to everybody else. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was four, the lowest four one. Good. I was no, yeah, I liked yeah, it yeah, though. Some, four, Everyone yeah, did yeah. like points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you were oh. four, and he was a four point one. So there it's is not like you're look, that much I, lower. I will say there is. I was a four two five. He was four three. It's not like you're that. There is something to be said. There is something to still be said and look, i gave this movie a five i thought it was phenomenal but there is something to be said for movies that sometimes make you think a little bit too much mm -hmm. like we watched tenet and i thought tenet was great but it's like it's like okay like uh, i gotta watch it probably two or three more times and i'm sure then i'll really enjoy it but sometimes if you go to a movie in your theater experience or even the first time you watch at home is such where like answer said my brain hurts mm -hmm. some people just like 
even if you watch it two or three times and then think it's great, <laughs> just so they see it, just so they see it oh, for a second. Oh, I was like, is he writing "Shut Up to Oak"? <laughs> well, like, we do have to wrap. This I'm with, yeah, we, yeah, I'm with stupid. Is, yeah. All right, but anyhow, we're going on an hour long move. wrap up, everybody. <laughs> 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 start, Dave's well, beard is growing back. It's already. a team up wrap up. It's <laughs> but up no, if, uh, folks, you should go check out Mr. and Mrs. Flicks over on their channel. We'll definitely have something. I don't know if it'll be on Patreon, but for sure on YouTube somewhere oh, yeah. in here. Some comments. For sure. Much so go check them out. Go sub to their channel. I do have just one question. A little rip. For the audience. <laughs> Is that the Witcher sign? Oh, yeah, yes, I'm still on that. I one. need to know it, it was close. <laughs> if that is the Witcher sign. Every time I saw it, like that's immediately where my brain went. Like either it's it, either the Witchers or if y'all play video games, Elder Scrolls. It's one or the other. Oh, but just I want to know. I want to know. That's all. Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in on another lovely movie with an amazing group here with Mr. and Mrs. Flicks. So we want to thank them once again. So for Mr. and Mrs. Flicks, that's Diamond Dave. That's Appleton Oak. That, of course, is Mason Quinn. And I, of course, am the answer. Good night, pals.